Uh, now, if we can have the children come up for our uh, children's message. I know we all have our reserved spots at all. <laughs> Whether you're young or old, we all have our reverse. <laughs> That's right. Very good. Uh, welcome, everyone. How are we doing? Good. Good. How's, uh, how was your week? Good. good. School going well? Your job went well, too? You went to the zoo. Very good. Very good. Oh, you, you're a superstar. Very good. Very good. You did well in school. Well, very good, you guys. Now, today, uh, the title of our um, children's message is The Resurrection, right? The Resurrection. Now, now, what did Jesus do for you? What, what's the first thing we think of when we say, what did Jesus do for you? He, he died on the cross. Now, he died on the cross. For what? What did he die on the cross for? For our sins, to save us. Good, good. To save us, to rescue us from our sin. Now, does this stop there? No. Um, sometimes I think we, we hear it a lot that Jesus died for our sins, but sometimes we don't... Oh, hi, how are you? That's right, that's right. Uh, but here, we, we see the resurrection. Now, why is the resurrection so important? Can we believe in a Jesus who only died? Yes or no? no. Yes. Yes. Who only died? No. Is it is Jesus, Jesus right? Jesus. Did he only die? No. no. He rose, right? Why is that important? Does anyone know why that's important? Why is the rising of Jesus important? Does anyone know? You know, I see the resurrection kind of as like that, uh, you know, the word, the proof is in the pudding. You know, people always say that, I think, uh, that people say that the resurrection shows that all that he did was true. It's because of the resurrection, we are who we are as children of God. Without Jesus rising from the dead, we would still be in our sins. We wouldn't have eternal life, right? So when we talk about the resurrection, you guys, remember that not only did Jesus die on the cross, but three days later on Easter morning, there we see what? I have a picture for you. What is that right there? Empty tomb. The empty tomb, right? Now we see the empty tomb. And when we see the empty tomb, we might say, well, what's so big? What's the big deal about the empty tomb? But really, in that empty tomb, we have everything. That means our sins are forgiven. This empty tomb shows you that you have eternal life. What's eternal life? A life that lasts forever with God. And by that resurrection of Jesus, your name is written in the book of life. Remember that this day, you guys. Not only do you believe that Jesus died, but that he rose for you. May this be your peace as you continue to grow in God's name, knowing full well that we believe in a living God, right? Not a dead God, but a living one. And because he is living, you are also living. Thank you, Phoenix. <laughs> Let us pray. Yeah. Dearly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time together. Bless these children always, for you are the living God the one who has broke the grave and given us the gift of eternal life, forgiveness, and salvation. Bless these children knowing full well that because of what you've done in your death and resurrection, you have given them the greatest comfort and peace, knowing that through you and by your grace, you have made them your own. Bless them, O Lord, by this, and lead them in your truth. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.